When people think about hybrid, they're not thinking tough, they're not thinking durable. They're not thinking F-150. We're about to change all that. This is the all new 21 model year F-150 Power Boost Hybrid, Ford's first full hybrid truck. So for the Power Boost Hybrid to be called an F-150, it has to be built Ford tough. To be built Ford tough means it goes through all the same paces and all the torturous tests that all F-150s do. We have to make sure our truck is tough enough for off-roaders. Borrego Springs is where we go prove that capability. Today we're in Borrego driving our new hybrid. We love Borrego because it's our worst case scenario. We've got high temperature, we've got mountainous terrain, we've got deep caverns, we've got sand, we've got slippery rock, we've got high elevations, and it puts the vehicle through its paces. No excuses. We engineered the truck to be exactly the same as a gas powertrain. So our hybrid will go through the exact same paces as our gas powertrains have through the decades. It's our first electrified powertrain in uh, F-150. It's a win-win for everyone. Michigan Proving Grounds is the core of our tough truck durability. Some of the portions of these tests are so punishing, we don't have human drivers test. They're automated. We know that when a vehicle passes at Michigan Proving Ground, it's gonna be built for tough. We're here at Michigan Proving Grounds in Romeo, Michigan. We're testing the Power Boost truck. We are gonna abuse this truck just as much as we would a gas engine F-150. Imagine running over bumps, potholes, over and over again for three months. And that's how we test out underbodies, suspension. These tests represent 10 years of life and three months of testing. It's more intense than real life. So the battery is the core component of the new Power Boost Hybrid. We needed to make sure that the battery was just as tough as the rest of the vehicle. And to do that, we developed a special torture test. We're in Akron, New York, testing the Ford F-150 Power Boost High Voltage Battery System. So the battery test is comprised of several events that the vehicle goes over and the table shakes exactly as if it were the vehicle driving down our road load events, our durability events. It's like a mechanical bull on steroids, really. So what that correlates to is an 82 hour duration of beating the battery just tight torture test on the battery, and that simulates one full life of a gas F-150. The battery system is getting beat just as hard as the, any part on the gas F-150 vehicle. We're offering 2.4 kilowatt and 7.2 kilowatt functionality. The PowerBoost F-150 will act like a big generator you could take anywhere, and you don't need to store a generator in the back of your truck. The truck will be the generator. You could use anything you use in your household. I mean, your imagination's the limit. The F-150 Power Boost Hybrid wouldn't be a no-excuses vehicle unless we took it to Davis Dam. Today we're at Davis Dam in Arizona. It's part of the Hoover Dam system. It is a brutal 11-mile stretch up a 6% grade in the middle of the desert. Davis Dam is within the industry about the gold standard for towing. And it's one of the toughest, if not the toughest places that you can tow within the United States. We're running the F-150 Power Boost out today on the exact same test that we subject to all of our other Ford trucks. We've got over 12,000 pounds loaded up into this trailer, so the truck's gonna have to work really hard. We've got the sun beating down on us, looking at the mountain, just a steep, imposing mountain grade ahead of us and it still has the capability to pull that up the hill. If it can tow here at Davis Dam, it can tow almost anywhere. So maybe you won't tow 12,000 pounds up Davis Dam, go rock crawling or high speed in the desert. Maybe you're just using the vehicle for going camping or go to work. You may never take your vehicle to the extreme, but at least you know it's capable of going there.